smoke. Okay, so just like I did yesterday, um, I'm going to go over the second principle of um, masculine medicine. Uh, once again, I've done, I've, I've gone over them multiple times, but you know, got to say it again. I got to say it again. Um, and, I, and, and I think out of the, out of the three principles, the first one's the easiest one to pick up. Um, the, the second one is difficult for people to chew on. Um, and the third one, people miss the significance of. So, it's not it's not bad that I gotta go over this shit again, but I am. I am, okay? Um <clears throat> stop, that's my shit. I was about to get pissed again. Okay. The second principle of masculine medicine. What's going on, side EJ? It's good to see you, man. And as I and as always, with my principles. There's a practice and a theory side to it. You know, some people, when they make principles, they only give you practice or theory. And you inevitably get the question for the other side as well. So I, I make I make the principles both practice and theory. Uh, so in this one, OK, the second principle of masculine medicine. And maybe I should have uh, said this the first time. Masculine medicine is for males. OK, I mean, women do whatever you want to. You listen to what you want to. I don't care. Um, this is made for males and it's medicine. You don't take medicine so that somebody else takes it with you. You take medicine so that you can get better, so that you can heal from your ailments, so that you can change. It doesn't, it doesn't always taste good. It don't tickle, you know, but it's, it's necessary. It's very necessary. So the second principle of masculine medicine. Okay. Um, the theory side, we are not equal. Men and women are not equal. And this isn't just a superiority kick. You know, like like with parents. Parents, you and your child aren't equal. And it's not because something's wrong with the child. What's going on, Two Groove? Um, good to see you, man. It's not because something is wrong with the child or something is, is, is not wrong with the parent. Like the parent becomes infallible. And neither of those are the case. We're not equal is because that's how the dynamic works out. man. Um, and once again, just like kids aren't going to want to hear that. Women ain't going to want to hear that. They, they want to feel a certain way. And so they're going to reject what doesn't feel appropriate. Most of the time, they're going to want to feel either equal or superior. But neither of those are the case. No woman wants a man who's the same as her. She wants to be, she wants one who she can look up to, who she can follow. All right. So this isn't bad. And I, and I know it can be difficult sometimes to articulate, sometimes to, to enforce. Um, but you can try reposting it. I don't know. It might end up being too long because every time I try and repost on my real, um, my lives, it's, it, Instagram says it's too long to put in a story. Um, Unless you got a YouTube channel, but I don't know if you've been doing. Anyways, that's not. I don't know if you've been doing a YouTube channel. That's not thing. Though. Anyways, um, this is the this is the theory side. We are not equal, and you have to understand how the dynamic works. Like this is why I say women are the children of the adult world, and it's not to say women are children because I can easily just say women are children, and that's not what I'm saying. I'm, I'm speaking to the dynamic of the relationship where one is leading the other. And so equality is not going to work there because, you know, you've seen the parents who try and be their kid's friend and the kid, they got friends to be friends like the kid needs a parent. They it's not it's not bad. It's not wrong. And, and you know, people may feel that way because of how they feel. But I mean, fuck your feelings on the subject. It is what it is. We're not equal. We're not the same. Two things that are similar are not the same. Men and women have plenty of similarities, and I, and I won't discount that. But the places in which we're not similar and we differ, we differ very drastically and very specifically. Like, you'll hear people do the bullshit where I, I, you know, I treat everyone the same, and it's, it's a lie. You can't treat everyone the same. You don't want to treat everyone the same. You don't want to treat everyone the same. That's selfish. That's selfish and short-sighted. It's naive. You don't want to treat everyone the same. Okay? 
You treat people based on the context, always. You don't treat people just everyone the same. You see, um, you see somebody kicking a kid at a playground. You gonna treat them the same? No. But I treat everybody the same. You don't. You don't treat everybody the same. You like to think you do. It feels good to think you do. It's easy to to describe it that way, but it's just wrong. There's no nuance to it. Okay. Men and women are not the same. More especially not in a relationship. Um, it's not to say something's wrong with one or the other. It's it's literally to say what I'm saying. They're not the same. They're not equal. And it, when you play the equal game, you're going to lose. And it's going to be your fault. So once again, I'm talking, I'm talking to males specifically. This is masculine medicine. <sighs> so that's that's the theory side, okay? We are not equal. Women are children isn't wrong to say at all because that's how women are taken care of. That that's part of that's the, that's the dynamic exactly. But, but see, when you say women are children, it's is that are women are children. It, it it's like it's like what women hear when you make a a dog analogy, like a dog training analogy, and it's like so you're saying women are dogs. It's like no, I didn't say that. I'm, I'm talking about the dynamic that exists there between uh, a dog and a trainer because you're teaching someone. Like, what does it mean to teach? So you can say a teacher and a student. So to women are students? I mean, <laughs> women are the children of the adult world. So in terms of the world of adults, women play the role that children would play to parents. And it's not bad. If you, if you really watch the things that they, they love, they enjoy, a man who can guide them, who can teach them things without abusing them, it's it's lovely that's what they want if she can she can just rest in her feminine as they like to say and not have to worry about nothing that's what children get with parents and it's not bad i remember my older family memories special specifically especially the female side always used to preach that men and women are equal yeah you listen to like you listen, just like if you listen to kids they're gonna say when it's convenient that children and parents should be equal. So women are going to do it the same. When it's convenient, they will say men and women are equal. But when it stops being convenient, they're going to insist that you should be doing something. And look, this is not a bug in the system. It's a feature. It's not a bug in the system. It's a feature. That's how it works. But you have to understand how it works better than them so that you can guide it. You can direct it. You can lead it. <sighs> mm. Because they're going to say when it's convenient that we're equal and it's not the case. This is why women are advocating for soft lives now and there's nothing wrong with it. It is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. They, because they, they, they're they finding out the other, the other way don't work. The other way don't work. And part of the reason this is masculine medicine is because we, we're, we're different in a certain way. As in males, we have time to fuck around and find out. Women peak early. They have to get set up early. <clears throat> it's not that it should or shouldn't be another way. And so they don't have time to figure it out like we do. So they spend all their youth doing this bullshit that the old, the older women didn't set them up for. And now they got to try and, and figure it out while pretending like they ain't been doing what they was doing before. But OK, the theory, the theory side, we are not equal. You have to you have to live this. You have to live this. They don't want to have to cut the grass for real. Hell no. Nah. Cut the grass, take out the trash. Uh-uh. <laughs> but they also, at the same time, they don't want to have to do that. But they also don't want to have to be, they don't want to have to feel as though they're lesser because they don't. And it's not rational logic. It's emotional logic. There's a logic to it, but it's not linear. It's not straightforward. Um, and a lot of times when you look at it, when you're chewing on it, it's like, this don't even make sense. Like you see things kids will do and, and it makes sense to them, but because of how they make sense, you have to understand it better than them. And that's what, you know, it used to be a man. It took a while to make a boy into a man. Nature makes a girl into a woman. She get that blood, boom, with ball, grass on the field, ball and play. Let's go. But just because a, a little boy can ski, don't make him a man. And this is nature shit. So that's the, that's the theory side of it. Okay. Now the practice side, how to live this. Um, it's never her fault. Now that's not me saying women 
possess no agency or can never be culpable for anything. That's not the case. When I say it's never her fault is just like just like you have a kid and they go out there at somebody's house and they rude, disrespectful and break shit. You got to hold the kid accountable, but ultimately it's your fault. It's your fault if you're the one who's leading, if you're the one who has the authority. Now, because just like I've said before, if you're going to have the authority, I mean, the responsibility, you have to have the authority. Sometimes girls like to be slick and give you the responsibility with no authority. And that's slavery. Don't 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 accept that. Um, but if, if you're going to have the responsibility, you have to have the authority as well. They go hand in hand. So it's never her fault. Be willing to rise above needing to to blame her for the situation. Okay. I do remember seeing a balance going up in my household. My dad definitely was a leader, but you know that was back in the nineties. I, I think sometimes we gotta get we gotta get back and talk to our parents about what the real dynamic was. And if you got a dad around who who's willing to be real with you, I'd say jump to him first. Um not because women can't be honest, but they don't they don't always have to be. They don't always have to be. Just like kids, they can be honest, but they don't always have to be. So they don't they're not necessarily gonna jump straight to it. Um because an OG, a dude will set you up for success way faster than a than a woman will set females up for success. I've watched it. Uh sort of practice. In practice, it's never her fault take responsibility because that once again just like i was saying yesterday you take the responsibility you see how well your hand is the thing that's caused it even if it's only 10 percent, okay you can feel how you want to but you're not waiting for someone else to change something in order to get moving on take responsibility immediately rise above that need that that she's more than likely going to have to to figure out who's to blame just say you know what it's me i got it i'm gonna take care of it i'm gonna do it It's hard. It hurts. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel fair, but it doesn't need to be. It's not supposed to be. The dynamic between parents and kids ain't fair, but it's not supposed to be. It's really not. The dynamic between a mother bird and the baby birds. It's not fair, but it don't need to be. It's not supposed to be. That's it's nature shit, man. It's nature shit. So if you if you listen to the rhetoric that women will give you that moves towards this equality, it's 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 wrong. It's wrong. It's it, they're telling you what's convenient for them, what what makes the most sense and feels in terms of feelings. And it sounds good, but that shit'll sound good. Everybody's equal, 50-50. fifty. fifty. We gonna pull each, each pull our own weight. If you weigh more than a motherfucker, what you mean pull our own weight? Boy, stop. Uh, woman got a sugar daddy they ain't pulling their own weight I'm not going to be mad about that <laughs> but you have to rise above needing to blame her for the situation All right, it's not to say they possess no agency of their own or they can never be culpable for something but you have to take the lead in responsibility in in being the one to blame that way you're not wasting your time trying to figure out who's to blame for this who's to blame for that you can figure that out on the back end i've learned this over the first five years of marriage how did you learn it i'm curious about that how did you learn it (laughs) so once again practice in theory side the theory side is we are not equal we have to understand the nature of that dynamic immediately and it's not to put women down you know just like when you tell a kid it it, we're not the same we're not equal it's not to put them down trial and error for real we gotta we gotta get that shit from the ground up every time because motherfuckers ain't putting us on game it it take years it take years right theory side we're not equal you have to understand that dynamic you have to live it you can't wait to try and explain it to her. You have to live it. You have to live it. That's going to, because what you do is going to say much more than what you say. Uh, growing up Muslim, even now I can see how Islam acted as a bubble. My dad definitely had a household and there are Muslim virgins, men and women still. It is declining, but the guilt and shame work. Oh, guilt and shame. Guilt and shame work. 
And see motherfuckers who spend so much time trying to avoid guilt and shame. They set everything up, once again, plan not to lose as opposed to plan to win. They, they set things up to avoid the guilt and the shame that's actually theirs they need to take a little bit of it one way i like to define guilt is um guilt is the debt you owe to the self that you know you could be guilt is the debt that you owe to the self that you know you could be you know you can do better and so you'll feel guilty you know you know you shouldn't have done it and so you'll feel guilty see i don't i'd rather not tell nobody what they should and shouldn't do you can be honest with yourself and figure that out but being honest with yourself can be hard. And so some people, because they, they play not to lose, they avoid anything that's hard. What do you mean about shame and guilt? Yeah, it, it, it's, it's the debt you owe to the self you know you could be. It's the debt you owe to the self you know you can be. And I'll tell you right now, shame is women's kryptonite. Shame is women's kryptonite. It, they, can't, they do not like shame. Even though they'll use it, to, they'll use it against you. They'll use it against you, most certainly, and quick. They cannot they, they cannot deal with shame. And I think that's some evolutionary biology stuff in that when it comes to like living in communities, uh, the females and, and, and their 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 group dynamic and how quickly something that you doing something that would cause shame is is easy. Quick is gonna get you kicked out the group. It's quick is gonna get you rejected by the others who are following the rules. Um so once again, I don't think it's a bug in the system. I think it's a feature. But you'll hear this come from women a lot. Don't shame me. Don't shame me. Don't shame me. Don't shame me. And it's not, it's emotional logic. It's not rational logic. It's not linear and straightforward. It's based on how she feels. But bro, use it. Use it. Like I would say, and this goes into the third principle about being righteously honest. Be honest about the shit. Don't use it manipulatively like they're going to do. Don't play women's game. You have a whole different game and it works so much better. Right? Like, like if you're raising kids, bro, don't play kids game. Because it's going to fuck up the whole thing. And you're the one who's going to be to blame. Weaponized intimacy for sure. Oh, yeah. Ooh. And, and see, when guys aren't put on game to see any of this stuff, it fucks them up. It fucks them up. Some guys don't recover. You'll see the guys who get into the uh, the red pill content, and they can they never they can never recover from some of the stuff. They can never recover from the the, the intimacy, the betrayal, and intimacy. I'm one thing. I'm not gonna say it, to, it, it 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 tickles or it don't hurt or you should or shouldn't do this, but it's real. It's real. And the way our the way our culture set up right now. There's plenty of room for women to escape having to be culpable for any of that. They can go from one relationship to the next and never have to be culpable for the fact that they're being manipulative. Until, of course, they hit the wall and it's way too late. But like I said, men have time to fuck around and find out. We peak later. You don't really hit your stride as a male until around 30. Women, they start from like 16 to 18. And then by about 28, it starts to fall off and you got all this girl power stuff that they can delude themselves into thinking, no, it's going to, it's going to last forever. I'm all, this is just who I am. This is just how I am. And it's like, no, there's a dynamic. There's, there's something going on here at play. This is what, that's what you want to tap into. What's, what's the dynamic? What's happening? What's causing the, the, the effects I'm getting, you know, and, but it's not easy, and it, I can't I, I, I can't stress that enough. It's not easy. The world isn't coming to save you. The world isn't coming to make sure you have you set up. Is weaponized intimacy the same as a woman holding the booty back from you every time you get in an argument and shit like that? Well, for guys in a in, in a transit transactional relationship, yes, that is one form of it. That is one form of it. And because there's a lot of guys who don't know a relationship with a woman outside of transaction. Because a woman, when a woman is with a man she really wants, ain't no transaction. Ain't no transaction. She, she'll still get mad, but ain't no transaction. Like, look, if I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show my age again, if a woman is out here and, and she finds Omarion picks her, she ain't holding the booty back. I don't care how mad she get. If she really want that nigga, mm -mm. 
she's not transacting with him. They'll do the transaction shit with a dude who she thinks she's better than. She thinks she can do better than. She thinks this guy isn't really the top tier of what I can do. And so, you know, I'll just I'll just do deals with him. Nah, it's when you're telling something personal and she uses it against you. Oh, that one is there too. Like I said, there's different forms of it. And women are much better at it. Women are much better at that. Um, they're not called to, they're not called to have to be honest, especially when you start to push them with honesty. And look, if a woman's listening and you're thinking, no, that's not me. I'm not like that. I'm different. Okay, cool. Fine. Wonderful. Great. Here's a stamp. You're different. Don't think about it with you then. Think about it with the other women, you know, all right. Um, your mother, your sisters, your aunts, uh, other, how often they would, when it comes time to be accountable, somebody starts crying. Okay. Go ahead and say you're different. It's fine. I'm not look because I'm not here. I'm not. I can't tell women what to do. That's what your husband is for. I can't tell women what to do. You, you can't hold women in general accountable. It's not gonna work. Uh, I used to do that. Me and my wife would have conversations, and she would tell me some shit, and I would throw it back in her face. Man, be, be selective about throwing stuff back in women's face, bro. Look, it's because they'll do it passionately. They'll do it out of emotion about how she feels right then. Don't do it like that. Don't do it like that. If you're going to throw it back, throw it back. Sniper shit. Throw it back with a reason to throw it back. Don't just do stuff because you feel. Bro, it was like a modern and black Zetsu moment. The betrayal. <laughs> and, and I'm not going to say they shouldn't do that. What I would say is. You need to see what, what the dynamic is that gives rise to that. Because I'd say it's natural to do. If you listen to them, they're going to tell you stuff like that will never happen. I would never do that. I'm not that kind of person. And then she mad and now she become that kind of person real quick. And then when she feel better, she suddenly just immediately forgets. It's it's so natural and organic, man. It's it's. That's what I when I say that's what I mean when I say it's it's not a bug in the system it's a feature it's it's organic it's natural it's not that they're doing something wrong it's that this is how they work and you're not going to you're not going to learn from women how they work in order for them to give you that honesty they'd have to implicate themselves and they don't want to do that because that's going to lead to shame and guilt and culpability up to the level she's not all in yeah she's not all in and they won't be on they won't tell a man that she's not all in because then they don't get the benefits and guys don't understand that a lot of guys especially if they've never had women pursue them they don't understand that they don't they don't realize that's how the that's how the game is played because if you're a guy who women has to tell you how the game is played you're already losing you're already out of the running you look like a child. If she has to teach you what the game is, you look like a kid. You look like a baby. And she's not going to tell you that. She's what you going to do what women do. With your, how do they act with children? They they protect them from reality. They 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 hide the truth of things. Not because they think something's wrong with the child, but it's their nurturing instinct that this thing needs my help. But for a man that she's into, she don't feel this thing needs my help. Hell, she'll look at that motherfucker like, damn, this motherfucker don't need me. That's crazy. Ah, that, that hurts. And you no, know, based on that, they'll do a whole bunch of different other things. But that's that's the position she'd rather feel. That this guy doesn't need me. And so that I'm when I'm with him, I'm safe to not have to be in control. And so for some women, it takes a long time for them to figure that out because the control, the control thing is a fear response. Because you hear a lot of people, especially in the spiritual community, I want to learn how to control my emotions. That's because they don't know how to contend with them. Yes, but they want to try and control the outcomes in the situations because they're, they're avoiding a certain type of outcome. Like I say, like I said the last time with the first principle, you have to play to win. You can't play trying not to lose because you'll never get a win. You may avoid a loss for a while, but you'll never get a win. You have to play to win. And that means fully taking on the risk of losing. And like I said, guys, guys peak later. So we have more time to do that. Women peak early and fast. They don't have the time to 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 risk like we do, which is why communities used to set a younger woman up with an older man because he they developed him into the thing she needs for the guidance. 
like the only women, only men that women are going to find that are, are their age when they're young, who got a lot of money is rappers and drug dealers. That who's established, who knows what he's, what's going on. A dude at 25 don't know that, but a girl at 25 don't know that either. It's the blind leading the bond. Practice and theory side of the second principle. The theory side, we are not equal. Women are the children of the adult world. The dynamic that you have between a parent and a child is equal to or reminiscent of the dynamic you have between a man and a woman in a relationship. Okay? It's not to say women are children, because I could just say that if I wanted to. Women are the children of the adult world. We are not equal. We're not the same. We are similar in very many ways, yes, but the places where we differ, we differ very drastically and very specifically. And you have to know it more than they do. Just like a parent has to know about a kid more than a kid ever has to even begin to imagine about a parent. And that's not a bug in the system, it's a feature. This might be toxic as fuck, but I got into like a three hour fight with this female and I was smiling the whole time, having a ball. Shawty was saying the most hurtful shit she could and I wouldn't respond. But but that's because generally they need emotion to respond because she's working off of emotion. You a dog, you ain't shit. Okay. They can't handle the cold because then she don't know what to say. Because the thing she just said was only based on how she felt. She didn't have levels of logic to it. See, that's what I'm saying. You can't play their game. You have to have levels. I know why I said what I said. I have five different reasons for why I said what I said, and I can even go to the next place with it. But from emotional logic, she's going to say how she feels. And it's boom, that. But she ain't got nothing else after that. And so if you give her the emotional response, she's going to move off of that. And y'all be going back and forth. I don't know what the fuck it took three hours for, but stop. <laughs> and uh, I don't know about the toxic shit. Motherfuckers love to say the word toxic, but I, 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 well, I don't know if I'd call it toxic. Because she may think it's toxic because you're not giving her the emotional response she wants. But that's, that's, you don't have to. You don't have to play their game. Because our game is different. It's better. It actually gets us somewhere. Aside from just everybody having a feeling. Because... Like men and women have conversations for different reasons. Women have conversations because of the experience of the conversation, how everybody feels like if you, if, when, when she leaves from the conversation and she feels good in her mind, that's a good conversation. If she leaves from the conversation and she feels bad in her mind, it's a bad conversation. Fuck the contents, fuck the subject matter. How she feels about it is her reality. And it's, it's, it's emotional logic. Bro at work, we had a couple of massages. And the wife thought it was in separate rooms. She, when she found out it wasn't, she was like, we aren't even a couple. And he said, kids beg to differ. <laughs> you play that game you want to. And look, you got to check that shit. Because it's, you know how motherfuckers will be serious about some shit and, and say it jokingly so that they have plausible deniability to back out if you challenge them. Yeah, shit like that. Because if you let the joke go and you don't give it some attention, you're going to get the next level of the joke. And after that joke done got about three, four levels, now it's not a joke no more. Now it's serious. Now that shit going to come back up in the next argument and it's going to come up as if it's fact because you never challenged it. And so she feels it's serious. She feels there's nothing that you have to challenge this. So maybe it's true. Bruh, it's, it's so, it's so, it's so organic, man. It's so organic. She, how she wanted to tell me why she ended up staying the night anyway. Show me how toxic she really was. Man, they'll say it. I'm not here for the drama, but drama is life. They love the drama. They'll, they'll pretend like they don't like the drama because they don't want to have to deal with the situation. But let them sit there and watch that soap opera. Let them sit and watch, watch fucking um, one of these one of these dramatic ass shows. They love the drama. They love the tea. It 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 fuels them. And once again, not to say it's good or bad, because that's why I don't like the toxic thing. Because I don't think it's necessarily a bug in the system. I think it's a feature. It, I think that's exactly how they are. But if you listen to them, they're not going to tell you that. And if you don't know not to listen to them that deep, you lose every time. Just her being comfortable to say some shit like that is depth perception from the Timeless Knowledge Store. Yeah, that's part of the reason I do the Timeless Knowledge Store. So that you can see it. So that you can develop that perception for yourself. Because... They're not going to tell you. They can't tell you. Just like kids can't tell you how they're going to misbehave and disrespect and take shit for granted. But it's natural that they do. It's not a bug in the system. It's a feature. And you have to be equipped to guide them to a place that's going to be beneficial for them. 
once again, we used to put younger women with an older man, take who we took the time to develop into a man so that he could guide her and then she could guide the child. It's, it's, it's a method to the madness, bro. It's a method to the madness. No three hour argument. Look, especially if it's not your woman, three hour argument, bro. Mm -mm. Bro, she was she was real love biting me and all like the fight was damn near a fight all because she didn't like how I was talking. You know, like your tone, uh -uh, bro. Look, let her not like it. It's, it's so natural. Let her not like it sometimes. Let her not like it. Because look, I tell you what, when she get mad and she ready to come at you, she don't care if you don't like it. She don't. It's just, it, it's, bruh. <laughs> I'm so serious. And it's natural and organic. When a child is mad about not getting that candy at the store, it is natural and organic. They're not thinking in their head, I'm about to fuck up the whole family. I'm, I'm going to destroy everything. Now, you push their little bit of emotions, they'll do it if they could. If it means they're going to get what they want, they'll do it. That's why you have to be willing to take an L. Because emotions are willing to take an L. Emotions are willing to take an L. You fuck around and find out you want to. Yep, and most of the time my wife jumps from a thousand subjects in a conversation. And you, th that's why you have to have not only the levels of logic, but you got to be able to keep the point in your mind. You got to be able to keep the point in your mind so you can recognize, no, nah, we just went off point. No, nah, that's beside the point over here. No, we're not talking about that. Not because we're not allowed to talk about that. That's a different conversation. And it's, it's, it's going to be hard for you to see it if you are someone who does it. If you still got that feminine way of, of having a conversation in you, you're going to do it. And then she goes because they're better at the feminine conversation. They're better at it. They, they pick that up early. Little girls pick that shit up early. But it, it's not a bug in the system. It's a feature. And a, a, a grown man, he's not going to have that conversation with her. I already said this. I'm going to bring you right back to the point every single time. I'm going to bring you right back to the point every single time. I'm going to peep where you went to. I'm going to peep what you said, when you said it, and how you said it. Uh, this is the point over here. And this is why this is the point. Sometimes, all the time, they <laughs> brought me a TV the next day. <laughs> don't say it, bro. Don't fall, don't fall for this shit to come out their mouth. Not because something's wrong with them, but because they speak differently. They have conversations for a different reason than we do. I mean, it's not bad. It's not like you have a, you ever watch kids have a conversation. They don't have a conversation for the same reason the parents will have the conversation. And it's not wrong. It's 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 so natural. But you have to be you have to get peep to game of the dynamic. And if a woman has to tell you, you lose, you lose because she don't want to she don't want to have to explain the roller coaster. She want to ride it. Girls just want to have fun. She here for the feelings. And she feels most comfortable when that's as far as she has to go. That what they mean by I'm safe in my feminine. When she don't feel like she has to control everything. You order the food at the restaurant. You got the wrong food. And she feels like she has to protect you and get you the right food. Mm -mm. See, she, she don't feel safe. But she's in a place where she feels she has to step up. Mm -mm. And you have to build that. Because most women, once again, this is part of the reason we gave a young woman to an older woman. Because these women go from young to old trying to do all this shit by themselves and take on so much more baggage than they allow themselves to realize. They're emotional creatures. They take this shit deeply. She fucks up in one relationship and that shit haunts her for the rest of her life. She'll start another relationship. She'll go get some more benefits, but she's going to take that shit onto the next one, onto the next one. Bruh, it's, she can't tell him nothing. We can't tell him nothing. It's all right. Keeping the situation under control by being the standard is so hard, man. I be wanting to go low, but it never works. Yeah, it don't it don't work because you, you end up playing their game and you can't play their game. You're going to lose because they better at that game. They better at that game. You're going to lose. You have to play your game. It's so much better. It's so much better. It don't feel nice, but it's not about feelings. You have to learn how to be cold. You have to learn how to be cold. And it's, it sucks sometimes. They got the pretty face. They got the nice titties. You want to give them this. You want to tell them that. You want it to be all these things. That's ration. That's ration. Emotion ain't thinking about anything but what they want in that moment. How they feel in that moment. Emotions are very selfish. Emotions are very selfish. I think that's part of the reason how postpartum depression works. Because her emotions are this way. 
but this is what she has to do. And she don't even want to feel the way she feels. And it's such a huge paradox and conflict. Uh, once again, I, 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 I try and avoid talking about women because I want to talk to men about men. Um, this In the Timeless Knowledge Store, there's three segments to it. There's three sections of, of, of the work. The first one is masculine medicine. The first four stops is masculine medicine, where we're giving the guys the medicine they need. The second four stops is managing misandry. Because motherfuckers is put to talk about misogyny, but I have no idea what misandry is. You need to learn to manage the misandry because it's rampant. It's rampant. Um, and the last, the last four stops are method to the madness, where, okay, look, this is part of how you take care of this. And motherfuckers love to jump to the how, but don't want to understand the fundamentals. The how ain't going to make sense unless you understand the fundamentals. Motherfuckers, oh, I got to build a philosophy. Okay, that's what I need to do. Stop looking for somebody to tell you what you need to do. You're looking for that because you don't understand. So fix that part. Fix the part where you don't understand. Earlier when you said medicine taken for the person for person that's sick, me, not others, because I feel the urge to talk this stuff to my baby mom, but that's another trap. Yep. 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 You have to live that shit, dude. You have to live that shit. You can't. You're not going to talk. You're not going to get her to be more rational. You're not. She's not supposed to. They're emotional creatures. She's going to follow you. She's going to do what you do. She's going to do what you do. And she's going to do it wrong, but she's going to try and do what you do. You can't You can't try and go back and get her to be more rational. And Because the only way you're going to get her to be rational is if you can get through all the feelings. Because feelings come first for girls. Feelings matter so much. And if you're somebody whose feelings matter so much, you're probably a girl. Males today are raised to be defective women. They're not raised to be men. Everything masculine is considered toxic because it doesn't feel nice. Rampant is an understatement. Yo, for real though. For real though. Uh, PPD makes so much more sense when saying emotions are selfish. I don't know what PPD is. I don't know what PPD is. Uh, rewatching three. Hell yeah, bro. Look, watch, rewatch, take the time, take the timeless knowledge tour. I'm so serious. I, I take all the time to put it together. I take all the time to, to record it, to set up the framework, to give you the principles and the motherfuckers will look, say, I get it. And you're wrong. And then get out here and get that work. <laughs> okay. Look, I already know <laughs> they hate when you're nonchalant. Like I don't feel a way about what you're saying for it right now. Yeah, they, because they have their whole emotion, their whole conversation is emotion, 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 emotion. Like, like every now and then, like if you get the chance, just listen to women have a conversation, have nothing to say, and just listen. Follow where it goes, why it goes. It's all emotion. It's all feelings. It's all feelings. And once again, it's not a bug in the system. It's a feature. It's not that they should be some other kind of way. It's it's understanding how they are. I remember my wife, mother used to get offended when I'd be so direct with her daughter. I had to get her ass straight too because she talk and treat her husband like a little boy. Yeah, yeah. It, a lot of times it's because they didn't. They don't. They don't. They're not in a place where they live that. Where they live being under a man's guidance, accepting a man's guidance. Most women do not respect men at all. And you say that to them, they'd be like, no, I respect men. That's a lie, because that's what they'd like to believe they do. But listen to how they talk to them. Listen to what they think about most men. Oh, I respect men, but I think they should. Uh, 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 uh. See, no. Nah. That was just, see, that's, that's what kids will do. I respect my parents, but my parents should. Nah, you don't know what your parents should do. You don't know what the motherfucker who's leading you should do. If you did, you'd be the leader. Mm-mm. postpartum depression ah okay ppd gotcha i definitely can see how my daughter and wife act in similar situations the daughter is going to be a copy of a wife but it, that's once again not a bug in the system it's a feature <sighs> women are the same like there's not different types of women ain't good women and bad women out here there's no such thing there's no such thing they're the same creature they're the because we're not talking about who they are we're talking about what they are see women like men because of who we are you become a who they're in, they're involved now they'll still be mad at the what you are and want that to change but as soon as you do she's not interested in you anymore all right we like them for what they are i don't care we don't care who you are you can work at the gas station or you can be a top lawyer bitch we we don't care that's who you are what you are is a woman and that's what we was here for 
women ain't the same way just because you got a dick don't mean they're interested the same way look you got titties we interested and it's not not a bug in the system it's a feature that's why the res resentment and anger in men is so real yet marginalized yeah anger anger in men is marginalized whenever a man gets angry it's marginalized but anger is the emotion that we most relate to that, that's going to be our primary emotion women their primary emotion is going to be sadness and we're, we're, we're so deeply taught all the way from being raised with our mothers to react to women's sadness. That's why we, as soon as culpability comes up, here comes the tears. Because we've all, it's already in us to react to them tears, to react to that sadness. You ever seen a kid fake cry? Same difference. Because them tears can turn off like that. But if you don't have the experience, you ain't going to know because ain't nobody going to put you on game. That's something I have to realize. And I see there's plenty of shit y'all gonna have to realize. I wanna put you on game. I wanna tell you the shit no one else is gonna tell you. Does anybody put me on game? Well, except except the Black Phillips show. And boy, I listen to that shit so many times. There's so much purging you gotta do of that old mentality. That's what red pill means. Like just like in the Matrix, you take the red pill and boom. You have to look at the reality of the world in ways you never would have expected it to be. And that old mentality you had is gone. You take the blue pill, you, you keep your old mentality. And no one's going to put you on game to it. No one's going to put you on game to it. How can you tell when you're oversharing to a woman if you believe in oversharing? Because I immediately get this feeling like choosing the wrong dialogue in a game. You probably want to look at why you're sharing. Why are you sharing? Because if you if you're sharing because you think she's gonna she's listening to you in a rational way, like the way you would expect a man to listen to, like here's one point, here's the point, here's this point, and here's this point. She's not digesting it like that. They don't they don't digest it like that. So I mean, if you're asking, you probably you probably already know. Um, but yeah, bro. Because women will say they want the truth. They don't want full disclosure. When she's asking for the truth, she wants to feel different. She's feeling a bit insecure about what she knows, and she wants to feel more secure in what she knows. But you start giving them all the truth, it's too much. It's too much. And now she's going to be a little upset. Like, why you don't tell kids about bills? They say, Mommy and Dad, I want to help out too. Just get mature. You don't, you don't give kids what bills are, politics. You don't, you don't give them all of that. They can't digest it. And it's not because something's wrong with the kid. It, it, it's just not for them, bro. Uh, bro, that free, that free crying shit blows me, bro. Sometimes I'm, it makes me more angry. And I have to realize it's an act for more attention. They, they are different creatures than us. Like I used to think I knew what it meant when motherfuckers said women are emotional creatures. I didn't. I thought I knew. I thought I knew. Oh, it's, women have emotions. But then in my head, women have emotions. But everybody has emotions. We're all just people. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. And I thought I got it. I didn't get it. I was very wrong. I was very wrong. If you're asking about it, you're oversharing. Yeah, more than likely. <laughs> Even the concept is not a bug in the system. It's a feature. It needs to be understood firmly. Shit led me to, to some hacking shit. It's... It's not something, yeah, it's not something that's wrong with women. Because when I say it, you know, when people are listening emotionally, it's like, okay, well, what he's saying is women should be a different way. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, that's why I say I don't have no advice women. Whatever y'all doing, women, it's perfect. It's wonderful. You're strong, beautiful, and brave. Everything's right. Go ahead. You're wonderful. You do what you do. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's not a bug in the system. It's a feature. Like, you have to see how organic the shit they're doing is. It's not malicious. They can get malicious. Once again, see, I'm not saying they can never be malicious, but their inclination to do the shit isn't malicious. It's not malicious. Like it, it, you have to be able to read it in terms of her feelings, because that's what she's talking about. That's what matters. Like there's a video clip. Um, I, and I showed it on the shit storm. Uh, and I think it's so fucking pertinent. It's called on. Uh, it's not about the nail where, you know, this dude and this woman are sitting there on the couch. Right. And she got a nail in the middle of her head. It's like sticking out and she she's doing this thing. Well, you know, women be like, you don't listen to me in, in terms of to a man. It sounds like, OK, well, I'm listening to what you said. I'm trying to move towards what's obviously a solution. 
you know, and she's sitting here complaining about how she got so much pressure in her head, how she can't wear clothes no more because it snags and they get torn up. And he's like, well, you do know you got a, a, a nail right here. And she's like, you're not listening to me. For women, it's not about the nail. For men, it's all about the nail. Because you tell me you got pressure in your head, it's snagging your clothes, it feels so uncomfortable. We're going to say, look, you got a nail right there, bro. Just pull that out. But for women, the nail itself is beside the point. Everything else is the point. When I say everything else, how she feels about it, her experience of it is what she wants to talk about. Because once again, men and women have conversations for different reasons. And so every time you go back to the nail, you're not, she, she thinks you're not listening to her. It's, it's organic, dude. It's so organic. It's so like, just like you have to listen a different way when you listen to the kids as a parent, you can't just listen to what they say on the surface. You have to, you have to really listen because they don't have the skills to articulate what it is that's going on with them. And so you have to listen a little bit differently. You know, you, you, you like, just think about when you was a kid. And you're trying to tell your parents this, that, or the third, and they're not really hearing you. They're trying to, you know, kind of push you away and, and get past having a conversation with you. It's so much more than that. And then you start telling a woman about the nail. What she's going to feel is that, oh, you must think I'm not smart enough to realize the solution. And it's like, for a dude, it's like, well, yeah, that's what it looked like. Like, if you, if you know these are your problems and you know this is causing your problem, why not address that directly? But that's rational logic again. Her problem is her experience of her emotions and how stressful that is for her. How 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 she feels about it. It's, it's dude. It's it's so organic. It's but women can't teach you that. Women can't teach you that because they'd have to implicate themselves. And there comes shame, and here comes guilt. They they only have a few levels of logic. They only have a few le levels of logic and they usually learn it from dudes. They don't, you, this is why you have to have levels of logic. When you have a woman, you have to have levels of logic. Cause after the first two or three levels, she'll try and battle you with the emotions. But when you have another seven levels of logic, she can't win. She can't win. The only way she can win is to get you to come back to plain emotion. And if you don't, you're going to get it. Oh, by the nail example, I can see how I still have some feminine ways. It, it was, uh, I hate to say this, and I don't know how to say it appropriately, but that that venting shit like and maybe this is just me being broken and terrible and awful and toxic. It could be a thing. But I don't vent to nobody. I don't vent to people. I, I, I may like we're going to talk. I'm trying to figure something out. I'm not trying to vent to you about how I feel and I want to share my feelings with somebody like what you gonna do about them what difference is it gonna make and then but see what be fucking me up is uh you know, my wife will try and do that and it's like it's just like kids will try and do what they see their parents do and, it, and it's as a husband I'm here to help guide her through those things and you have to be in a position where you can you can walk through your own emotions before you guide through anybody else through the shit because it's it's difficult so yeah, we raised to be very feminine. We're raised to be very feminine. Cause you look at you look at the man these single moms chase around, bro. They not feminine dudes. They'll call them toxic while you listen to her cry about this, that, and the third. But just like Nappy says, she gonna go back and buy that TV for him. They they're not logical and rational in the same way we are. And the only way you really gonna see that is addressing the feminine shit in yourself. And it's not fun and it don't tickle, bro. I still got shit in here. I remember I, I spent months purging. I spent months purging the shame, the guilt, the disappointment, the pain, the hurt, confusion. Like, bro, like I said, when I say I listen to the Black Phillips show over and over and over again, like not for entertainment. Oh, that was a funny joke. Oh, I got to listen to that funny joke again. No, that nigga was talking about me. That motherfucker was talking about me. And I could see it. And I wasn't going to lie to myself about the fact that I could see it. And I had to listen again and again and again. Because Patrice isn't a, a, isn't a wordsmith. He said it before. He's a comedian. He's not, a, he's not, a, he's not good at expressing things. So he'd be on the show um, you know, trying to work through the idea. You know, like if you ever listen to him on the Opie and Anthony show, 
as soon as he bring up any type of, you know, pimping type shit, Opie and Anthony just go, just pull their vagina out and start, oh my God, oh God, no woman's going to love that, oh God, oh. And it's like, they would never help him walk through the idea. So I had to sit here and listen to him say this shit on the Black Phillips show over and over and over again and walk through the fucking ideas. Walk through the fucking ideas. Everyone's going to be against him. Because guys are taught that the being feminine is the appropriate way to be. You listen to women, being like women is the appropriate way to be. If you listen to kids, being like kids is the appropriate way to be. Ask the kid, how should how should your parents be? Well, we should get ice cream and candy more often. Um, we shouldn't do as much homework. Homework is stupid. We should go outside and play every day. We should all pick our own clothes and everyone's the same. Of course, that's what they're going to say. And it's natural they should say that. It's not that they should say something else. It's it's not rational. It's not logical. So you have to understand that part of the theory side, bro. We're not the same thing. And it, it, for a lot of guys, it's going to be hard to see it if you got a lot of feminine shit in you. If you're still doing that shit to yourself. Uh, yeah, they don't help him stumble through it. it that's, what, that's what he was looking for. Some help stumbling through the ideas. Because Patrice had, he, like, most guys don't get as much experience as Patrice got. Most of us will never have the status to have that many women after you. He won't have, he had a, he had his choice. He could go, this motherfucker would spend money to go fuck hookers in Brazil. He could have got hookers up the street and he had to come to terms. What about what I'm getting from these women over here is so much different from the motherfucker I could have got it from up the street. Like, what about that experience? And, and, and they wouldn't help him stumble through it. So I sat here and I had to think about what is what is he saying? What is he looking at? What's the difference? What is he trying to say that he doesn't have the words to say? Figure it out. Put it in, put it in an order framework, and then I make a tour of the show, the timeless knowledge tour. Please watch the show. The ice cream and candy analogy stays in the back of my mind rent free. Yeah, if you ask kids what they what what how the world should be, that's what they're gonna give you. If you ask women how things should be. They're going to give you a delusional, emotional response. And it's not because they should be a different way. They don't know. And they don't know that they don't know. Which is why, as a male, you have to know You have to know better than they know. So not only do you have to know what it is they don't know, you got to understand it for yourself. And then you have to understand it enough to be able to guide them through it. All they got to do is show up and feel and hopefully learn. T kids, all kids got to do is show up feel how they feel and hopefully learn and it's not a bug in the system it's a feature it's not or they put them on a pedestal and say only he can think like that exactly and they they don't even analyze anything they just say well only you can do that uh-uh like that's why i was watching i was keeping y'all's little conversation about jeffrey you know and some jeffrey would love to do that well you know patrice nobody can do what you're doing you're just this guy throwing them little compliments out uh-uh there's more here mm -mm, don't play the girl's game don't put me on a pedestal. That's why I hate being on a pedestal. Because you don't see how much I'm in the dirt too. Shit. I need fucking help with shit. <laughs> I'm in the dirt. But if you put a motherfucker on a pedestal, you can't see that. All you can see is how much you admire them. Another thing I realized, especially the guys around me, they are so self-righteous and we try to have conversations about our wives. I don't think, like, I don't think that I never do that, etc. Well, you say they're self-righteous. The self-righteous about what? about that equality tip yeah man especially, especially you listen to these spiritual dudes bro this feminism is so deep man and so they misunderstand the masculine and feminine and uh, end up misunderstanding male and female as well they miss they miss all of it because they're saying what women would like to hear and they think that we've been taught the feminine way of being is the right way of being and it, it's right for them but it's not right for us and you're not and as males, you're not going to find out it's not right for us until after you've lost bad. It takes a lot to be a man. So I appreciate this type of combo. It does. It takes a lot. It takes more than it's ever taken in history to be a man these days. It's taking not only does it take more than it's ever taken, you're going to get less reward than we've ever gotten for it. And it don't tickle, but it's not a bug in the system. It's a feature. It is what it is. That nigga Patrice was in my dream. <laughs> nigga does damn nigga. <laughs> nigga, goes there, nigga, you submerged in fear. The fear will get you because, ooh, 
you have well, not only do you have to take the boy away from the mother at a certain point because she's going to make him into another woman but when you take the boy away from the mother there was the, the, the manhood rights are to introduce him to contending with fear yeah it's so serious bro you nobody teach me how to deal with fear they either told me i shouldn't fear or 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 or, or tried to protect me from it boys have to be taught how to contend with it otherwise we can't lead nobody through it and a woman doesn't know that a woman doesn't have to learn that and to the degree to which a woman has to learn that she she's so broken she can't be emotionally available for nobody she's always terrified she's always trying to control she's always trying to run she always got one foot in the door and one foot out this is why I tell y'all, listen to Kevin Samuels, listen to the women. Don't, cause I don't, I don't necessarily agree with a lot of what Kevin Samuels say, but I love the, I love the show because it's a woman's show and you get to hear women voluntarily say what they feel. And they'll say it over and over and over again. And every woman, cause every woman, when they hear this kind of stuff, they like to think, well, I'm not like that. That's not me. Mm -mm. They're the same creature over and over and over and over. They have the same exact fucking talking points. Like it's a script. Happy wife, happy life. Boy, that's a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> but it's what we've been fed. Somebody gets married, here comes the whole family. To the dude, make sure you keep her happy. Make sure you keep her happy. Make sure you keep her happy. Bro, last wedding I went to, my cousin was marrying some woman. I was like, I told her, make sure you keep him happy. I was the only one. I was the only one. Because we're not, we're not socialized to consider men's happiness. We're not socialized to consider man's happiness. As a matter of fact, if a man starts talking about something that he's not happy about, it's considered bitching. Bitching. Listen, listen to the word. You become a bitch when you're not happy. But I mean, so that's how women are naturally. They don't know what's going to make them happy. That's why they need someone in their life to make them happy. They don't know what it's going to be. Just like kids don't know what they're going to enjoy in life. You tell a kid, here, uh, try this. No, I don't want to try it. It looks nasty. Ew eat it and then they eat it oh i like this. this is my favorite thing now yeah you gotta know better than they're gonna know you gotta know in ways they don't even understand there's so much a man does for a woman and i'm not saying this stuff to say women should be a different way i'm saying it so that men can stop undervaluing what they provide because if you don't know what you provide to a woman and she can get it from you you're a mark you're a mark she gonna she gonna tag you along and gives you nothing for it and blame you make sure you keep her happy a man that loves his wife loves god bullshit and man was supposed to, with the religion you know especially even christianity a man's the house of the whole head of the household women don't follow god she follows him he follows god but you know whatever whatever right this shit will hollow you out. Hell yeah, it will. But only only because we we've, we've been filled with bitch ass nigga shit. We've been filled with with lady feelings. How's everyone? I've been married 23 years and bro, we still go through shit. Yep, don't stop. It don't stop. We wasn't taught as youngsters, and you're absolutely right. When we when we so call argue and I don't respond, it gets to the the cutting low to get a response, and that's the bullshit. Yep. She's because she's looking for an emotional response. They that's their whole thing on how to have a conversation. And so when you don't have to fall into that and she don't have no no gas left for emotion, she can eventually start to hear you, especially if she respects you. But you have you have to see they go emotion first. How she feels matters more than anything. Now you can't say your emotions matter more than everything. She's going to say no, because that don't sound nice. It's going to make her feel guilty or shameful to think that. But it's what the case is. How she feels matters more than anything that rational makes sense. I don't want to deal with the, what do you mean facts and statistics? Well, my personal experience, me and my friends, what the fuck you and your friends got to do with facts and statistics? But it don't it, it doesn't it doesn't register. Just like certain things won't register for a kid, and it's not because something's wrong with them. It's, it's not a bug in the system, it's a feature. And so the practice side is, it's never her fault. Don't even waste your time trying to make it her fault. Don't even waste your time trying to make it her fault. If she really down for you, she'll come around. She'll watch you. She'll try and she'll emulate the life you live. And that's why you have to live this shit. You can't just be saying it. Nigga, I, ca I caught myself being a bitch when I tried to use an emotions to get the 
get through her logically. Uh, yeah, you got to get out the emotional game. They, they're so much better than that. And you can't need them to be rational. You can't need them to be rational. It's, it hurts, bro. It's a lot. That's a big key. Respect. I see my sister disrespect my brother-in-law. That shit is crazy. I'm talking about like bullying type shit. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And, and the mis it's misandry. And we're not socialized to even recognize or check misandry. And you have to. Because it'll get worse. I was listening to my man. I was out of order. That's my thinking because women follow men. Men follow God. Yes. Yes. Women follow men. Men follow God. Just like children follow women. There's an order to it. There's a hierarchy to it. Not only are boys raised to be more feminine, women are raised to be more masculine. And so women, they all have the same talking points. They all have the same idea about what it should be, which is why they're constantly dissatisfied. But women pay a, until they get older, women don't pay a price for their dissatisfaction. Men pay for that shit immediately. Women only pay for it. And in a big way, once they get older, men have to pay for it early. But once you once you get to the see, because that's what I'm saying, men, we peak later. So once you get there, it's all uphill from there as long as you can maintain it. It made me rethink my need to control. Yeah, the control comes from the fear. The control comes from the fear. How do you recognize misandry? Uh, well, the, the first key thing, like he was talking about, the bullying and the disrespect. Okay, because just the same way we can recognize misogyny. Okay, you're doing something that doesn't feel like you you you're putting women first. Okay, well, misandry because misandry is the hate of of men. Misogyny is the hate of women, and because we usually don't call out misandry, most people can't recognize when they don't like men, when they hate men. How do you how do you correct for being over aggressive? Uh, who? Her? Don't play that game. Look, this one say when I'm saying women are the children of the adult world. Reframe your question. How would you how would I deal with this if it was a child? Because see, we're, it's easy for us to, to, to get the dynamic appropriately when we do that. But when we're, we're so conditioned to when we think about women, we have to put this on an equal standing. And that's what fucks you up every time. That's what fucks you up every time. That's what the theory side for is. We're not equal. And you have to immediately see the not equal. And the practice side is, OK, just go ahead and take it. Take the blame. Take the authority take the responsibility for what happened because that's really that's really what a lot of the conversation a lot of the argument is about she's avoiding the culpability she's avoiding have to be the one who's blamed for what happened i'm telling you bro listen to the argument she is avoiding being blamed for what has happened because it's going to result in shame and guilt and and well, it's not to say it should be another way it is how it is and when a lot of the women because you know even them raised by single single mothers they never they've never they don't know how to respect a man respect don't mean the same thing to women as it does to men like you like when women say respect what they mean is courtesy and so they'll put on the fake face oh me no i'm not being rude or aggressive that's courtesy that's not respect that's not respect see the guy she really wants that's the one she respects that's the one she respects Men know what respect is because motherfucker gonna slap you in the fucking face for disrespect. We learn that quick. Women never have to really learn that. And it means something different to them. So check for the respect and require it. Because I'd rather be respected than loved. As a matter of fact, if she respects me, she's going to love me. But if I'm going around begging for the love first, I'm not going to get the respect. You're not. So the same way you would check it in a child, same difference. Not saying they are children, but it's the dynamic. The relationship is the same. They ain't even courteous, though. Yeah, because they're not respectful. It's the sly shit. Like, this is what, because when you listen to Managing the Misandry in the Timeless Knowledge Store, especially Carlotta, you will you'll can you can hear it. It's, it's the disrespect behind the veil of courtesy. Because they think that veil of courtesy is what respect is. Just like they think saying something confident means you believe it. And that's not the case. Like, um, who, who, what was the guy, what was the girl's name? Yamanika. Yamanika uh, is one of the girls you'll hear in the the part of the timeless knowledge tour. This managing uh, methods of the madness. Excuse me, because Patrice's woman's there. Vaughn is there, and she 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 feels really confident, uh, Yamanika, about the position she's holding, but she's holding it up out of fear. She doesn't know. She just has feelings, and she's trying to defend her feelings. 
they just defend feelings with feelings and there's no logic there's no ration they by themselves and they don't understand they don't understand it hurts bro because look i'm not saying women have it super duper easy they have plenty of difficulties in life but they're not the difficulties we have and they never have to know our difficulties as a matter of fact when our difficulties come up they have the option to just leave and do most of the time so it's true bro my wife grew up in an abusive household and she wasn't taught how to respect a man it was only what you look for and not let a man do to you exactly what what a man should what a man should be doing and what he shouldn't be doing that's all they know that's all they've taught they never taught what what a man wants what to give to a man how to treat a man and they and matter of fact they don't look at the fact that they're not taught they just assume whatever I think it is, is what it is. Whatever I feel it should be, is what it is. We're all people, so whatever I would want from a man, he would want from me. And that's not the case. That's not the case. And there's a lot of dudes who will go transaction for transaction and keep her in this feeling that, yes, she's doing right thing. She's not. Because the dude who she really want, who she'll chase, he'll play that game. And that's part of why she like him. She wants to figure him out. She wants to understand. She wants to get it. Dude, it's so organic. It's so natural. Bruh, please watch the Timeless Knowledge Store. Please watch the Timeless Knowledge Store. All right, look, I don't even have ads on my videos. So you're not you're not making me money. Well, I want you to click. Don't even, I'm not even going to tell you to like it. Don't even like it. Don't hit the like button. Don't comment. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep your precious engagement. Don't give a fuck. Watch it. Learn. Figure this stuff out. Because I'm going to tell you, once you once the once the once the nut leaves your dick, once you have a baby, once you done signed your little papers with the state, you don't have no, no one's coming to help you. Everyone's coming to be against you. And they're going to blame you. Hell, I'll even blame you. Look, it's so I'm so serious. You have no options once the, once the nut leaves your dick. You're done. You're done. She has all the options. Don't listen to them when they tell. Well, well, she she doesn't know, and she couldn't know. It. Well, he didn't know either, but he don't get that. He don't get that space. He don't get that benefit of the doubt. As soon as a boy is, is able to have sex, he's now responsible for everything that happens. Bro, it's real. It's so real. No one's gonna give a fuck about you. Nobody does. They'll give you that veil of courtesy. They'll make. They'll try and make you feel like they give a fuck. But you gotta know what it means for someone to give a fuck about you. You got to know what you provide. You got to know the value of it so that you can price it in yourself appropriately. Not so that you can get women to do this or that. Women are going to do whatever the fuck they want to. Just like kids. They're going to do whatever the fuck they want to. And they're going to depend on somebody who's not doing whatever the fuck they want to and who actually knows where they're going. That's who they'll follow. Uh, bro, I can only say it. Anyways, I've been on here way too long. Appreciate y'all, man. Watch the Timeless Knowledge Store, all right? Please.